Welcome back to Law and Noirder. <laughs> we are here for our first DLC case, technically the second one. A slip of the tongue! Phelps, Kowski. B Cop says he located a green Kaiser Fraser from the hot sheet. Ooh. Has a six west second. Another seat. stolen car. Go over there, see what you can find Ooh. out. Or a stolen car. Go on. Sorry to inconvenience you. All right. We got orders then. This is a stolen vehicle. We know where it might be, so let's go find it then. I love how he says sorry for inconveniencing you by giving you more of your job to do. Yeah, I think it's that kind of, you know, well, sorry to pay you to pay you for the job that you do. <laughs> he does seem a bit leery if that's the case. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, sorry, should I put out uh, milk and cookies and cupcakes for you before you go? Nah, you don't do your job. All right, well, agree. Let's go do our job. We'll head to the stolen vehicle oh, side. Oh, excuse me, excuse God, me, excuse me. Oh, God, oh, God. Oh, 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 no. Eh, we'll find our way through. We always do. Wonder what Veronica Lake uh, Excuse me. Oh, yeah, oh, All you right, you should have... I know you had the green light, but I'm a cop, so fuck you. Oh, well, well. Surf and protect. Woo! No, no, you're not surfing or protecting. I'm protecting you're myself. Making any progress. <laughs> Is Phelps talking about your current case up. where you ran but over like ten people? I heard it'll be it was more like seven, thing. actually. Okay, fine. All right, here we go. Make the oh! job. Oh shit! Oh. Can we uh oh. Try to get there in one piece? Well, uh, well that car's <laughs> dead. Uh, can't really move now. <laughs> hmm. Oh, they right. modeled the underside and everything. Oh! Uh, uh -oh. oh, no. Uh oh, great. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> you got <laughs> stuck. <laughs> well, now what? Um, I was thinking, is there any way I can, you know, duck or no. get out or clip through? No. 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 <laughs> well, there's only one thing to do then. <laughs> That was pretty Re good. We're gonna restart the whole damn case. <laughs> Jesus. Well, Oops! Well, it's a good thing we're only like 30 seconds in. Yeah, you're telling me! <laughs> so I'm guessing a little less shenanigans in this run? Yeah, you know, just a slip of the tongue or like a slip of the steering wheel. Oops. <laughs> Phelps, what the fuck? You're clipping through reality! I'm a war hero, it's okay. Is that just going to be your excuse for everything? Hi, I'm commandeering your vehicle. I'm a war hero. It's okay. He's like, I don't care, but I killed 40 Japanese in World War II. Oh, shit! Well, then, come on! Get out there! Uh, yeah. As far as I know, there's no way to skip certain cutscenes or dialogue bits either. Unless if you're, like, interviewing someone. Sorry to inconvenience you, Phelps, but I swear to God, if you drive your car off the side of the road and get stuck in logs again, we, we might take like ten dollars off your pay. No, not that. Well, actually, you know that's a, it's quite a bit, actually. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I didn't want to like highball it. For, and uh, I love the people in the comments who are doing the conversions for us. They're yes, calculating inflation handy. and everything. So we really get a feel for how expensive everything is. And I'm gonna have my partner drive to the place because <laughs> you don't don't really want a repeat of last time. Because you so, can't be yeah, trusted. Yeah, doll, yeah. You cannot be trusted in this place. Because he knows how to drive. He cares uh -huh. about road safety and all that. Yeah, he's a good yeah, cop. Seems to think they have oh. It's going to be another 20 years before Ryan Vietnam, and trust me, you're going to need those crazy driving skills to get you through. I just realized, Cole Phelps is the bad cop in this situation. Of course he is. He's a terrible cop. Especially in the way he drives. Have you seen that maniac? He's, he's reckless. He's rude. He has he has no care or concern for those around him. Mm. Oh, that's a nice looking place. Are we gonna go there? Yeah, drive through it, maybe. Oh, okay. So here we are at uh, Six West Second Street or Two West Six Street. I don't know. That might be confusing. That's the car call. Just pulling out. And oh shit! That's the car. Oh well. That's it. All right, go go go. Oh great! I'm behind the wheel. Shit. <laughs> All right, focus. 
Focus, don't sweat. Just just well, take down right. that car. Okay. You're gonna be you're gonna focus up a little bit now for the sake mm -hmm. of uh, keeping things moving, you know. Keep the Whoa! Whoa! Alright! Whoa. Alright! Yeah, yeah, Maybe a little recklessness might Get help him. a little bit, perhaps. Yes. Get him, Cole. Alright, alright. Sick him. Come on. And oh, oh, his trunk yeah, is just no, gone. Jeez, no more trunk. Nothing all right, let's see. So um, let's if you take off out. all of his wheel wells, that's a million points. So I'm just trying to smack uh, into four targets. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah, that's how you do it. Eat it, bitch. You're going nowhere in a hurry. All right, all right. Maybe I was a couple miles over the speed limit. <laughs> yeah, and so was I. <laughs> I was gonna almost shoot him. Like I was trying to aim my gun at him, but Cole Phelps automatically arrested Please him. Please so. don't shoot the guy. Don't shoot what? the suspects. Why, why not? He was driving recklessly. He I, have no toler I have no tolerance for driving recklessly. Okay, this isn't papers, please. I Minor misdemeanors do not equal death. Denied! <laughs> Just put a stamp on his forehead. Then, Ow! Then he goes to the shooting gallery. <laughs> More like the firing range. Hmm. So, uh... Oh, he's got an actual receipt. This like we'll is his car? No, well, now phone. it's going to impound because we kind of destroyed it. That's an expensive car. Yeah, it was a nice-looking car until we broke it. Twenty-four fifty. Sheesh. Well, let's ask him some questions. Like, what the fuck were you doing here? Why is it stolen? So we purchased the car from Coombs. So yeah, yeah, that's, that's right. Uh... uh blah, blah, blah. No such thing as Coombs Automotive, is there? <laughs> <laughs> I suggest so automatically, he's like, you're fucking lying to me. That place doesn't exist. And, well, it does. You're off the hook for now. <laughs> All right. Coombs <laughs> does <laughs> exist. Hmm. Got another bit. Oh, a pink slip. A certificate of ownership. Oh. This is a forgery. It's top notch. This will need to be traced. It's, so this vehicle is reported stolen, and yet we have ownership that he owns it, so is it a forgery? No, no, we might have to trace that, I guess. But why did you run from us? Mr. Harrison? No, nothing like that. Can you stand, can you stand still, maybe? Yeah, I think I'm, I might believe I'm looking at him. He's still keeping eye contact, though. We're going to make this hard on you. I didn't steal the car. I ran because because I've got some wacky-backy in the glove compartment. How much, Cliff? Oh. One reefer. We'll let it slide. He's has a reefer. The devil's lettuce. <laughs> well, only one with? of them, so it's kind of like, you know, Richard the devil's Coombs. shred. Yeah, I'll just take this, put it in my pocket, Either and you, you can just go. Either you stole car from Coombs, or you're delivering stolen merchandise for him. Which is it? So this Coombs from saying? Coombs is the one who sold it to him, so something's a little weird here. Sometimes you have to shake the tree to see what falls out. The worst detective. He drew up a special deal for you, didn't he, now, I messed that up accidentally. What? My finger slipped and I, I doubted him you. when he was telling the truth. This is outrageous. I'll be making an official complaint. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I just wanted to show what happened. Yeah, that was it. you got to be kidding me. But yeah, my finger I slipped mean, accidentally. I doubted when I should have truthed. So as a result, uh, I don't Harrison, get all of the information. But I think we answered enough that we got what we needed. We get the two bits of... of paperwork that we needed we got a guy to talk to so let's go follow up on that lead but i think i think uh if we answered all this correctly he wouldn't have been arrested but who knows oh so this is your fault no yes it's all my fault uh, this is all oh. your fault that he is getting arrested right now oh that's my car okay i mean you even let him off the hook with one reefer i think he's telling the truth well, he can smoke it in prison. Anyway, off to Coombs Automotive to see, uh, to uh, talk about the uh, legitimacy of the ownership slip that he's got there. And do you know who his father is? Uh-uh. Whoa! Slow down! You ever heard of Crazy Taxi Phelps? Oh! That wasn't made until a lot later. Oh. You ever heard, you ever heard of Carmageddon Phelps? Oh, that wasn't made until a lot later. Later than Crazy Taxi. Nope. More than happy to be really? Wrong. Yeah, I think Carmageddon was a bit early, like 96, perhaps. You, spout all this you ever heard of Mario Kart Phelps? <laughs> uh oh. Uh, he just throws a turtle shell out the window. Oh, and everybody's dead. Chain Chomp's coming through Coombs Automotive. Uh -oh. 
I'm smoking. No. I'm smoking. No. No, we need to make it. Make it in the first car. That way it gets auto repaired. Come on. Come on. Stop running into shit. I can't help it. It's fun. <laughs> uh, no, I'm flaming. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm flaming. That's on I fire. Flaming. That's on fire. Oh, come to a stop. Yeah. Oh. Oh, well, we got a nice convertible here. Very nice. Yeah. Excuse me, pardon me. It's a Ford Deluxe Convertible. That is pretty deluxe, if you ask me. Why has everybody got such nice fucking cars in L.A.? Why can't I just get a clunker or something? Because it's L.A. There is nothing clunky about L.A. Have you been to L.A.? Uh, no, I mean, I know there's a lot of clunky stuff about L.A. Yeah, well, neither have I. So. Ooh, popping. So, this is Coombs we're going to be talking to. Okay. I fucking love this guy. <laughs> like, if I was alive in 1947, I would be a guy exactly like him. Okay, let's, let's see. That would be absolutely perfect for you. He's like, I got a Buick oh, for you, because I know you're... Oh, God. With, with those suits, you fucking rich, so give me the money. Richard Coombs, at your service. You looking to trade in a black and white... Oh, I love these kinds of characters. He's like, you want to trade one of your police cars for a, for a <laughs> minivan? <laughs> I was just thinking, I, it, I could sell you on anything. I can even have you sell your mother for the type of car I'm going to be giving you. He even makes jokes. Very amusing, Mr. He's like, your cars were reported stolen. He's like, well, all my cars are a steal, huh? you have the bill of sale? Waiting for him to... Okay, here we go. Walk this way. That's a joke too, son. <laughs> this guy. If I shoot this guy, he's getting on my nerves. No, no, no. He's he's the fun guy. You can't shoot him. I don't know. I think it'd be a great addition to the to the force. So let's interview him and see what he knows. Sure, I can't interest you in a nearly new car, son. I'm all but giving them away to servicemen and cops. He's got the pink slips there. There it is. Got the original pink slip there too. Huh. Yeah. So Got here, Gene Archer. Gene Archer. Uh, uh huh. Something's not connecting here. Huh. Interesting. Back here, Gene Archer. Gene Archer. Coombs. Coombs. Hmm. Stamped and approved. Huh. I guess this is like papers, please. Denied. <laughs> ah, no. We got Cliff There's Anderson. There's Cliff Anderson. Yeah, yeah that doesn't... Was legit, at least. Oh, well. So the purchase receipt is legitimate, but... Hmm. So Cliff bought it from that Gene Anderson? We have a couple of questions. All right, fellas. Well, shoot. let's ask some questions first. See what we got here. First, the details of the transaction how here. How did, he, how did he Girl buy the car? In right off the street. Nothing unusual. So, girl comes in, Gene just comes in, buys really the car, so. This is the kind of crazy web of shadows and it lies that we can only get in the DLC. Man has to watch his cash flow. What name? I made it out to Gene Archer on the Bank of Arcadia. So, we gotta talk to this Gene at some point. Can you describe this Gene Archer? What does she look like, though? Brunette, maybe 25, 26. A little on the plump side, but not bone ugly. Hmm. You're making this up. There's no Gene Archer. There's no Gene Archer, and she <laughs> actually <laughs> blonde, you lying fuck! Car. How long did you say you'd been standing out in the sun? I hope you can <laughs> prove that nefarious allegation. <laughs> Sun-dried cops. But no, he's telling the truth. This guy's on the up and up, even if he is a little... In a hurry to go Jokey. somewhere, but no place to go. You get to know the type. Do you know anything about the company that prints these pink slips? So these pink slips, what's nope. this about? Should I? It isn't exactly my business. Oh, now he's hiding mm. something now. I can, yeah, he's blinking. But he's telling the truth, though. Printing. You've never heard of them? Marquee. Sure. They do all the government red tape. You'll find the place down on Aliso oh. Street near San Pedro. Oh. This guy's super helpful. When exactly did you hand over the check? Even though he's wacky. Close Whoa! Oh, so now he's really hiding something. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just gonna, Friday, just gonna look was, everywhere here. Cash. You knew the car was dirty. I had an inkling. 
When people are in a hurry for money, always pay by check, son. Gives you a couple days to back out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This was all above board. Yes, of course it was. Still lying. You're lying, Coons. You knew the car was stolen. <laughs> you have some sort of crystal ball tucked in your jacket that can help you prove it? Actually, I do. Right here. It's uh, No, I don't. Don't ask. You never find out. <laughs> I love that. Did this look legitimate to you, Coombs? I'm in used cars, son. Not bear bonds. In my so this business, guy is just, a, just a touch mouth. shady, but something else is going me, on here. My help. A bigger picture. Thanks for your help, Mr. Coombs. We need to continue the investigation. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot more to do Hope still. Oh, uh, thanks for your help, and oh, sorry honest, I called you out on nearly ball everything ball. and had no ball. evidence to back Gas it up. Fly over his head. It's how I do things. Guy, please. It's, it's the Phoenix Wright head. method of interrogation. Press everything. Yes, press everything, present everything, be sure to save, and if nothing goes your way, <laughs> reload the save. If the music stops, you got him. <laughs> Oh God! Please steal a used car. Oh no, I need man! To, no, there's a there's a game well over here for police officers. You don't really see these much anymore these days. Oh. So we're gonna call it in. Phelps badge 1247. And here we go. How can I help, detective? Uh, okay. So we got an APB on Jean Archer because apparently she is the one who stole the car. Ironically enough. Mm. Wait a minute. If he's Throwing out a charge for possible Grand Theft Auto. Does that mean we've hit a time loop? Well, I don't know, but we got a we got this guy named James Belasco Thanks, who's waiting for interrogation at Central Police, who oh. apparently may be connected to the case in some way. Well, Man, well, so shit. many branches that this case is going on. How convenient. Let's go. Let's do it. We're on the case. Our shit. Well, we might as well take our car. Our nice convertible that we got. Oh, nice jump, Phelps. You can drive. Yeah. I'm gonna have him Where drive to. Going? Where should we go? Uh, we'll head to uh, Fremont Avenue first. This is the address that was on the pink slip. Here's a chicken and egg question for you. Yes. Okay, Do you, what do you think got? you have to be an asshole to sell cars, or that selling cars turns you into an asshole? You mm -hmm. I think you have to be a car to sell assholes. Always got it in for car sales. It, mm -hmm. Doesn't matter what day it is. And why do they always think they're comedians when they're about as funny as a heart attack? They're I'm about as funny as a stroke, now. actually. Quicker you sign on the dotted line, just to get the hell out of there. I mean, they've got a point. Strokes can be fu strokes can be funny because oh, they got like the up. droop and the voice and all that, you know. <laughs> it's 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 kind of funny. If God, you maybe say, you are a used car salesman, you asshole. Can I can I interest you in a convertible? Only seventeen thousand dollars, but for you, I can make it sixteen nine ninety. Whoa, what a deal! Sold. Yeah, I'll be getting a pink slip of my own soon. Should have yeah. known that Archer Broad would have given us a false address. <laughs> They're so, kicking me out. Hello. So, the address we went to was a vacant lot. To it was a fake address. <laughs> oh my! So, uh... Brilliant. Where, where do we go now, huh? Where do we go now? Hmm... So, the idea is that... See, see I'm trying to you pull the, the notebook so I can find a place to go. <laughs> do we know where we're so we'll head going? back to Central Police to interview that guy who might have a link to the case. Vacant lot. Interesting. Why didn't I think of that? Because you just sell the used cars. You don't actually create fraud. Well, do I have to go to the address to actually, you know, figure out where it is? But... Oh, I mean, back in the 40s, man. Well, I don't live in the 40s, Ain't man. Ain't no GPS. So here we are at the jail. Detectives. Velasco is prepped and ready in two. Another stolen car with legit papers. Thanks. Stolen car with legit papers. Hmm. Very strange, Ooh. isn't it? That that is that could be a link, because just like the previous, you know, Harrison, he had a stolen car with legit papers. But we found out the papers from the dealership aren't that legit because the papers lead to a vacant lot, which is a fake address, so Ooh, time to mm -hmm. interrogate this person, slam his head on the desk, and say, "Where are they?" Crummy bastard. Whoa. We're Cole. We're Cole Phelps, not Elliot Stabler. Okay. I want a lawyer. It's my car, and I got the proof right here. Take a look for yourself. Okay, let's take a look. Another pink slip. Where are hmm. these coming from? Huh. Your name is Gene Anderson, is it? 
Oh, the no, James Belasco. Enough, Belasco, but the car isn't yours. This pink slip is a forgery. Forgery. Goddamn captain's making me resubmit. Forgery. That was, was not, not transferred. <laughs> there's nothing on the back. No notary or anything. Sorry, man. Forged. Where were you taking the car, James? So where are you Pull taking the car, Green buddy? Horn, you'll get nothing from me. Oof. You're a two-time loser. Oh! Oh, oh shit! Not, not just a one-time loser, a two-time so loser. Let's double the loser. I, I want a deal. Keep talking, and we'll see what sort of deal you're worth. My job is to drive the cars out of state. Nevada, Arizona, sometimes New Mexico. That's suspicious, Book him. It's normally a breeze. So he's the guy who takes the stolen cars and Jean takes them to other states Jean where they can be Jean sold Jean. for a profit. Mm -hmm. Bastard! Nope. Never heard of her. I've never heard of Jean Archer. She should gulp me to anything to me. I mean, uh, you're lying! You're a liar, James. <gasps> Say that again. I'm telling the oh. truth. Okay, the that again. You're a two-time liar, James. <laughs> but we actually do have something here that can actually... Uh, a fake yeah, address! You both have the same address printed on your pink slips. Should they have the same the address vehicle. printed on their yes. pink slip, which same is fake. You. Jesus. All right, I know her. Stupidest broad I ever met. Always cooking up crazy schemes. I don't know why those crazy guys... Crazy schemes. Are... You happy now? So Jean is the one who is the mastermind right now. What she's the one who set. He's the. She's the one who set up those pink line. slips with the fake address and all that. And she's the one who's probably given up the used cars and all that. This is cool. I like it. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> what an asshole! Jesus! Cars get sold in Chicago or back east. Public drunkenness, huh? Well, you better tell me something I need to know. Otherwise, I'm gonna tell them that uh, you rape puppies. Warehouse. <laughs> Mainly in East downtown. You're lying. You're fucking Blasco. lying again. You steal the cars yourself and then provide them to the <laughs> ring. I'd like to see you prove that, Copper. I think I will prove that, Silver. Yeah, silver. Damn thing. it. But job. not with the, not with that though. Okay. But he is obviously lying, so we're gonna doubt. Yes, Velasco. You want my help with the DA? Cough it up now. <laughs> well, I don't know the number. Oh, uh, you that is an aggressive right? cough. He just coughs up like Dude. ten car keys. So we got some place on Industrial all right. Street as a place where this is all being done, work. and uh, well, hey. And if it is, I need your help here, pal. If looks like is, we, looks like the plot is thickening even more. Mm. So I guess we'll see you next time.